happiness is a choice optimism is a choice kindness is a choice and giving is a choice whatever choice you make makes you so choose wisely namaskar welcome to pt pointers and in this video we are going to cover major headlines of the hindu indian express press information bureau and live mint so without wasting any time let's start today's discussion and our first headline is related to world food day which is celebrated every year on 16th october isko establish kiya gaya tha in 1945 by the food and agriculture organization jo ki ek specialized agency hai united nations ki aur is saal ki theme hai water is life water is food leave no one behind and do you know friends water availability affects every aspect of human life especially food and nutrition security and about 60% of india's net zone area is rain fed contributing to 40% of the total food production hamari agli headline related hai loss of war se and ye news mein bhi isliye hai kyunki recently hamas launched an attack on israel killing hundreds of civilians and in this context israel has retaliated with all its might triggering a war in west asia and here there are two separate an independent international law questions related to wars and these are jews ad bellum which says under what conditions or when can countries use force in their international relations it is regulated by united nations charter and next is jews in belo which says how is a war to be fought that is what military actions are permissible and do you know friends the how of using force or the law of war is known as international humanitarian law which provides the rules that must be followed during an armed conflict it is contained in customary international law the geneva conventions of 1949 and the additional protocols of 1977 it regulates the conduct of parties or groups engaged in an armed conflict its primary objective is to protect civilians and reduce suffering our next headline is related to regional comprehensive economic partnership and key news mein bhi isliye hai kyunki sri lanka and bangladesh are considering their chances of membership in the regional comprehensive economic partnership and both the countries are also in talks with india for updated free trade agreements and are part of 2006 south asia free trade agreement now let's know more about regional comprehensive economic partnership to friends ye ek free trade agreement hai between 10 member states of association of south east asian nations and its five free trade agreement partners and these are australia china japan new zealand and republic of korea and at present RCEP members represent 30% of the global GDP and do you know friends India walked out of regional comprehensive economic partnership agreement due to concerns over chinese goods flooding the indian market our next headline is related to kaziranga sanctuary and national park so friends ye situated hai assam mein and it is a unesco world heritage sites of india and it is known for great indian one horned rhinoceros our next headline is related to defects and ye news mein bhi isliye hai kyunki government is looking to invoke a law that would require whatsapp to share details about the first originator of a message on account of rising artificial intelligence led misinformation on the messaging platform and it is being considered because there are multiple defake videos of politicians circulating on messaging platform now what are deep fakes so friends they are digital media which include video audio and images edited and manipulated using artificial intelligence they are created to inflict harm on individual and institutions and they can be used to damage reputation fabricate evidence defraud the public and undermine trust in democratic institutions now recently goa ke cashew ko geographical indication ka tag mila hai cashew was native to northeast brazil in latin america and isko introduce kiya gaya tha goa mein by portuguese in 16th century and do you know friends gi tag is conferred upon products originating from a specific geographical region 
signifying unique characteristics and qualities it serves as trademark in international market and it is given by geographical indications registry in chennai now recently president of india paid homage to dr apj abdul kalam on his birth anniversary at rashtrapati bhavan he was born on 15th october 1931 at rameshwaram in tamil nadu he was specialized in aeronautical engineering from madras institute of technology he made significant contributions as project director to develop india's first indigenous satellite launch vehicle which successfully injected the rohini satellite in the near earth orbit in july 1980 he was responsible for the evolution of isro's launch vehicle program particularly the psrv configuration he was also responsible for the development and operationalization of agni and prithvi missiles and he led to weaponization of strategic missile system and pokhran 2 nuclear test in collaboration with department of atomic energy he has been awarded with padma bhushan in 1981 padma vibhushan in 1990 and highest civilian award bharat ratna in 1997 he became the 11th president of india in july 2002 our next headline is related to world health summit jo ki kal start ho chuki hai and ye 17th october tak chalegi in berlin jo ki germany mein hai world health summit is a leading global health conference and network which brings together stakeholders from politics science the private sector and civil society from around the world to set the agenda for healthier future by inspiring innovative solutions for better health and well-being for all and during the summit india formally emphasizes the need for a comprehensive strategy which includes preventive measures early discussion and efficient management with the aim of reducing the prevalence and impact of non communicable diseases on well being of citizens our next headline is related to sagar kavach exercise which is a two day comprehensive coastal security exercise and it involved all maritime security agencies and isko conduct kiya gaya tha by indian navy in andhra pradesh tamil nadu and union territory of puducherry now recently reserve bank of india governor received the award for being ranked a plus in the global finance central banker report cards 2023 in city of morocco the award recognizes those central bank governors whose strategies outperformed their peers through originality creativity and tenacity so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening and for regular updates you can follow us on various social media platforms